For this lecture, I'm going to use a PowerPoint from a company called CB Insights, which is a data analytics company that focuses in on industry analysis and especially venture capital analysis. This is a much shorter version of a much longer uh, presentation that you can find on SlideShare. Starting point is going to be looking at the general trends in corporate venture capital. And you can see here, many, many different companies are getting into this. And as the headline mentions, it, it ranges from tech to healthcare, uh, to finance, to energy, to media. What I want to do is highlight a couple of companies. Google Ventures uh, it has become one of the most active investors, but it hasn't been doing it for all that long. It's been doing it for about seven or eight years. Intel, on the other hand, has been doing uh, corporate venture capital for decades. And their logic has been basically both to make money, but also to increase um, demand for their products by increasing utilization of microprocessors in different ways. Johnson & Johnson is an example. In this lower -hand, left hand side, you see a lot of healthcare companies. And Johnson & Johnson has been very active in corporate venture capital and also has even developed incubators within which startups can work uh, with Johnson Johnson as a minority investor and also providing a lot of access to um, resources from within the corporation. And then you find companies like American Family as an American Family Insurance getting involved in the mix and um, starting to get in, interested in innovations from outside the company by utilizing uh, venture capital investments. Generally speaking, in the last few years, we've seen a trend line increasing but what I want to warn you about is that corporate venture capital is very much perceived by corporations as a discretionary expense. So when times are good, like they have been over the last few years, you, are, you will tend to see increases in CVC. Uh, back during the Great Recession, there was a big decrease. Back in the early 2000s, there was also a big decrease and then increases in between. In terms of the share of deals um, for by the different uh, stages of a company, what I wanted to highlight is what does this kind of stage mean? So seed means pretty close to startup early on. Series A is around the time that a company is starting to uh, launch into the market in a more serious way. And then B, C, D, et cetera, are increases in capabilities, generally in terms of either manufacturing or in, in terms of marketing. The key thing to notice here is that about, oh, depending on the year, 30 to 50% of the corporate venture capital has been more in the C to Series A stage, which means that about half to two thirds or so has been in companies that are actually pretty well established. In terms of industry, what we are seeing is only a few industries matter in the corporate venture capital space. So you see a lot with internet, you're seeing more and more with mobile, here in the Twin Cities, um, the healthcare matters a lot. There's a fair amount of corporate venture capital in, in healthcare, um, and then a, a smattering of other things. But you don't see it, for instance, in restaurants um, or or in other or in other consumer goods. There are other ways uh, for corporations to get involved in that, generally through R and D or through partnerships. Now, talking about corporate venture capital within the context of, of independent venture capital, the thing to note here is that corporations tend to put bigger amounts of money into, into, corporate, into venture capital deals than independent venture capital. But the reason why is because they are tending to invest at later stages when companies are needing more money to grow very rapidly. If you look at this picture, what, what you're seeing here is that CVC 
is actually a, a relatively small part of the total picture. So you're seeing that on a, a when you see the total picture, you're seeing it. I think the headline is saying about 15% of deals in 2013, 20% um, in 2015. Those are pretty typical numbers that you can see going back uh, for decades as well. So a small but important part of overall VC activity, especially when you think about um, the, the, the triggering of large growth for companies, as well as for the other resources that corporations bring to the picture. Um, this is another trend line. Yes, it's, it's going up um, a, almost double from a few years ago. But again, keep in mind that this is a function of relatively good times for corporations. What this shows is uh, what kinds of investments different corporate venture capital groups have done. And really what I wanted to highlight here is they tend to invest in areas that are in some way close to their core business. And so you can look at this more closely, but you're going to see um, a company like Salesforce focusing in more on cloud applications as well as corporate um, uh, a B2B type service applications, as opposed to the more tech things that you might see with Intel Capital or the more uh, consumer um, communications kinds of stuff that you see with Comcast Ventures, as well as stuff that they would use themselves to, to, um, to increase uh, utilization of Comcast uh, product. On um, the second page, you'll see uh, the Fidelity Biosciences, um, is focusing more on things related to healthcare. Bloomberg focusing more on things related to, um, uh, to data, which is certainly their focus.